Denise Salcedo here for Press Pass LA, and we're right outside the Dolby Theater for the world premiere of Terminator Genesis. So stay tuned for all of our awesome interviews, including an interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. So Terminator, yes. we know we go back to the year 1984. Let me ask you, if you were going to go back to the year of 1984, what would you be doing? What would we be seeing? Me as an adult, or I would go back to my kid self of 1984. Well, I'd tell everyone to take those damn parachute pants off. Um, and then I would try to figure out how to put more bass in the music, because it was all treble. Um, then I would get rid of neon, uh, and I would, uh, I would tell people to stop wearing, like, uh, piano key ties. Um, and then I would warn people that Millie Vanilli was right around the corner. So were you guilty of wearing those parachute pants, by the way? Shut up about it. <laughs> Let's just not say anything else about it, right? Okay, so... Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming back for 12 years into the Terminator. It's been such a long time. Is there anything that you would want to go to in the past? And what do you think about him coming back as a Terminator? I think it's essential for him to come back for this movie. I mean, like, you have you have to have Arnold for this movie. So uh, I'm just excited to see it. I mean, you know, I'm just going to be the same dopey kid that I was when I saw all of the other ones. I mean, you know, I'm going to giggle like a fanboy when he starts talking like Arnold as a Terminator. We're here at the ten ten Terminator Genesis premiere. It goes back to 1984. If you were to go back to 1984, what would we be seeing in your life right now? I would not be born yet. <laughs> so what about your family? <laughs> Well, I was born in 85. Oh, oh I, should, I guess I shouldn't tell you my age. I, no, I, yes, I can. I was born in 85. I'm 30. 30s are going to be great. You look beautiful anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, 84. Gosh, my parents were pretty young at that time. My, my parents have five kids, and um, so they were all born by then. I don't know. You were in the process. So, yeah, I was in the process. So Arnold is going back to a to a role that he hadn't done in 12 years. If there was something that you could go back to, what would it be? You're asking good questions. I'm making you take a trip back to your life. <laughs> yeah, no. If I could go back 12 years, what would I What would I change? What? Or is there something that you would like to go back to, just like he's going back to the Terminator? Is there anything you'd like to go back to doing? I think I would like to go back to, oh, this, I, I don't know, this is the first thing I'm thinking of. My, my sister closest to me, she's two and a half years older than me, before she had kids, she has five kids now. Um, she's only 32, she's five kids, amazing mom. But um, before she had kids, um, we were just so, so close and we would play all the time. I mean, I would watch her do her makeup and I would imitate her and, and I think I would, I was thinking about that the other day. I think I would go back to that time before she had kids, although her kids are wonderful. Um, but that, that bond that I have with my sister, I think uh, I miss lately. So, you have a particular scene in Terminator. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, well, I haven't seen it yet, but filming was great, and all the scenes that I got to do with any of the cast was super fun to shoot. So, what's your role in the movie? I play Skynet. But right now I can't say much. They told me so. So let me let me ask you about this new Arnold watch line no, that's coming out. So I know out. you have some Terminator watches coming out too. So let's talk about the new watch line. Uh, I have always been interested in watches, but the, the ones that I liked, like this one here, for instance, beautiful watch, but it's not something that everyone can afford. So therefore, the idea was to create a watch line that looks like that. That looks like it could be $50,000 or $100,000, but it costs only between $800 and $1,500. So this is what the idea is of the Arnold line, so that everyone can afford it, or almost everybody can afford it, and uh, they uh, can be proud of you know something that is bigger than the normal watch out there, because mine are kind of like... You know, they're military watches, they're going to be sports watches because for my sports career, athletic career, then for my uh, in the movie career, so you see the kind of a Terminator type of watches, military watches, action watches and so on. And then you will see also the more refined watches, the governor's watch, you know, for my political career. So this is what you will see. Could you talk about like this, uh, the next airplane movie that you have coming out and is Conan following that one? Is that the plan? Well, I uh, don't know exactly yet, but very soon I will know what the 
uh, kind of the schedule is going to be which movie will be first and all that because it's between the you know triplets and between uh, Conan and uh, that I mean there's a lot of things on the plate right now.